Hey guys, Dakadal23 here, and welcome to a brand new series called The 100 Baby Challenge. Um, now, I will go into detail later about rules and objectives. Just I will go into detail on everything, and actually, technically, the first part, this is just the house tour. Now, if you know anything about Sims, this should look quite familiar. But at the same time, very different. This is the Prism Art Studio. Now, um, I'm shit at building things. So, I tend to pick a house and kind of remodel the insides to my liking and roll from there. When you need a house for a hundred babies, um, a normal four bedroom house does not cut it. I mean, you can probably get quite far with it if you build like an underground system of basements basically, but I don't feel like doing that. So, I was trying to think what is a big enough house and I was looking around at a bunch of things and I came to the community lots and I saw the Prism Art Studio and I'm like, it's really pretty. That would be so fucking cool if you could like live there. So I turned it out I turned it into a house. So this is actually the house tour. The outside is basically the same except for a few changes, such as I accidentally put this on a on a lot that was way too big, so it, we have like a bunch of stuff for the outside. So we have um a tree house, we have a buildable car, we have some seesaws, some swings, a little play thing, a water slide, a little thing to play some sucker. Oh no, I missed that one spot. That's actually gonna kill me inside, guys. Cool. Um, a nice pool. Not much. Also, it has this little parking lot kind of thing. Which I figured once we start getting more teenagers in the house, you know, we can get cars, but at the moment we don't need it. So we got, I put that car there for our sim. Um, a bunch of bike racks for the kids when we have them. A boat, because I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Yeah, um, why not? It's a boat. Also, I took out the water fountain because I was like, meh. And I just put a little hopscotch thing. Um, so yeah, the exterior is practically the same. Um, the interior, however, is so different. And by the way, we are actually in Setra, which is a um, custom world. It's basically like supposed to be modern day Egypt. And it's pretty cool because it's got a mixture. Since it's, um, you know, um, custom con custom la, 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 la. since it's a custom world it means you know somebody made it so they are able to include everything so rather than when you go to bridgeport you have subways you go to everybody every p other place there's no subways i don't know if there's subways here but that's my example you know like it, it has things from everywhere you know i'm pretty sure it has like the film industry and stuff like that um which is usually only in um, Bridgeport, and you have to, you know, add it in, you know, all that stuff. Okay. Let us move along, because this should take quite a while, so that's why I'm trying to hurry up. So, I thought this is, like, a really cool house, because it's actually... I just pressed space for no reason. Um, it's technically three separate buildings, so you have this building, the blue building, and this building. Now... I don't know if I'm going to end up calling them these, but since they are technically three different buildings, oh wait, it's like three buildings, and then like, uh, that thing on the bottom is like, its own little room, and it's, in a way, it's not really, yeah, it's not technically connected to the, this building, so, yeah, whatever. So it's three buildings. Um, I don't know if I'm going to classify them as this, but this is what I've been doing in my head as I've been decorating everything. So this building right here, the one that actually kind of looks like a school, this 
is the, um, I'm going to call it the dorms. These are where all the bedrooms are. This is the bedroom section. This right here, which kind of looks like an apartment, is um, almost like accommodation. So you got the living room, dining room, kitchen, activities room, playroom, things like that. That's in this building. And then in this building, I guess I'd like to call it... It's like... I don't have an actual cool name for it, but it's basically the gym the music room, and the arcade. So, and then we have the courtyard, and the, oops, sorry guys, my mouse is fidgety, the parking lot, and that place, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we can always um, expand the parking lot if necessary. We have about up till that place little square right there um so we can expand it if we want but we don't have to so let us get right into this oh yeah i forgot so you go down once twice right here is the oops children's playroom There is both a children's playroom and a toddler's playroom. Obviously, the toddler's playroom is on a bottom floor right by the nursery. So, just to make it easier. So, the children's playroom is quite basic. It has this really nice um, pattern on the wall. I really wanted to use this. Uh, I guess it's a wallpaper. Um... And then I thought it worked quite well for the children's room. Or, sorry, children's um, playroom. I I wanted the playrooms and the nurseries... Or, sorry, the nursery to be kind of um, almost neutral. So, you know, like... The stereotypic stereotypical color for a girl is pink. And the stereotypical color for a boy is blue. And when you usually don't know the gender of something, you pick yellow that's kind of what I wanted to do this is you know it's not too girly but it's not boyish at the same time yeah I don't know what I'm saying guys so we have four cooking ovens um we have the little play thingy two doll houses two rocking horses a um tinker's toy machine what is it called I don't remember what it's called whatever and a toy box and a spiral staircase to go down. And what's actually cool is there's this. If I put up that. It's got a door. At first I was really tempted to make this like the teenager's room. Like either teenage girl or teenage boys. Because I figured it's easy for them to sneak out. <laughs> but uh, it was just. I decided not to. It was too big. Um, if you go over to the living. Uh, la, 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 the dorm. Basically. I had this room up here, and I didn't exactly know what to do with this. And no, this is not um, her bedroom. By the way, this is Marcia, Mar Marcia Fonseca, Fonseca, Fon Fonseca, Fonseca. There we go. I don't know. I randomized the name, and I thought it sounded cool. Um, this is not her bedroom. This is just an extra bedroom we have. So this could honestly be for the eldest. Um, kid, you know, whoever's the eldest or maybe like our favorite can get this room. I don't know. So let me go down another one. We'll go over here since we started here. Ooh, I need to put all this stuff in there. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so this is basically like a skill building room. So we have some, um, what are these called? Easels. We have some easels. And some computers, we have some chess tables, a little um, potion thing, a telescope, and an alchemy set. Because that, we can make, um, like, fertility potions, which would come in handy. Um, we also have, like, a little chest to put stuff in, so I guess this 
would technically in a way be more of the um children skill building room um of all things cuz it you know children can do all but this so yeah skill building room woo okay so now we come over here to the doors so we have this hallway which is nice which accesses the um top room um just a little table and couch which accesses the children's the girl chill the girl the girl child children whatever the ones that are children and are girls if you cannot tell this is their room so okay so they have like a cute rosy um wallpaper they all have like different bed sheets now there is only how many two four six eight beds so hopefully we don't have more than eight child eight girl children well i mean in a way we could have nine but whatever um but yeah it's a really cute super super girly room so we have these dressers which uh, it's a duplicate for both things um it's got a rose pot thing some tissues and almost like um the mom you know folded folded some clothes and put it there left it for them you know i thought that was cute so that is actually the only room accessible from here the rooms on the side have a staircase um yeah so here's the teenage boy room now i know what i said earlier you know blue is iconic for boys but you'll just you'll see later so they just have a simple wallpaper because boys aren't as complicated for rooms when it comes to girls i mean theirs are most likely more messy but you know probably not compared to mine but whatever you know ha 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 ha, ha i'm not kidding guys ah. okay so this is the boys bedroom so i have green for them yet again only eight beds Then if you come to this side, here is the teenage girl bedrooms. This one's like all over the place. Like I used this freaking wallpaper, but yet like these beds and everything. I don't know. I just I wanted to use the wallpaper. Shush, 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 shush. So I was trying to stay away from pink, but I was trying to do like purple. But obviously, you know, some kind of pinkish colors got in there and random ass ones like these two that i really liked though um but yeah so that is that floor um i showed you the skill building so then we go down one more floor so oops i actually really like this floor on the accommodations building so we have like a little this was actually gonna originally be the living room and then i had a lot of extra space so i was like yeah this can be like a little like chill out place you know so it's like a little chill out place we got a bookcase here which is really nice custom content then we have the dining room i tr i just honestly you can probably tell that from the way it's like bugging out but I actually just merged some tables together to make it look like a really big table to fit as many people here as possible. So we can do 3, 6, 9, 12. We can fit 12 people here. So when she has 11 kids, it'll be the perfect fit. And then after that, we're fucked. <laughs> and I actually like the staircases that, you know, it looks really nice. Um, so here's the kitchen. It's not that big. It's not that complicated at all so we got a baker station we got um a this thing which i can't remember what it's called why are those not working strange um we have a la, 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 dishwasher stove you know all the essentials but this like really cute freaking like wallpaper thing it's so cute it's like so grandma -y. it's it's like country kitchen i love it so much my gosh 
So then if we come over here to the blue, 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 blue building, there's a lot of empty space in here, so I don't know if I'm going to add anything. But this is essentially so far the music room. I'm actually going to scoot all y'all over one. So we have two grand pianos because we just have that much space for it. Drum set. Some, what are these, basses and guitars. This is here for, um, oh, because I gave myself the chance to save one sim, like, If Marcia has a kid that I, like, a girl that I really, really, really like, um, I would put her in here at, like, a teenager, young adult, whatever. Because once they're a, a young adult, they can move out. They don't have to, but it gives you more room to have more babies. So, they'll most likely be, like, hitting the road. Um, I would put her in here and save her till, you know... Um, Marcia kind of runs out of, uh, eggs and, um, time, you know, when she becomes a grandma or, um, an old little lady, she will be replaced by the next generation. So, here is the next thing in the dorm so the staircase to get to the oops teenage boy room is in the child boys room their theme is blue I thought you know pink is for little girls blue is for little boys purple is for bigger girls or you know older girls and green is for older guys it's just i don't know it worked in my mind so i'm keeping it that way yet again eight beds they have cute little like air balloons hot air balloons little dresser with yet again the folded clothes and tissues it's like a running theme here especially with the tissues so to get into the younger boys room and technically to the teenage boys room there's actually oops a staircase right here that goes down it looks like these staircases are connected but they're actually two different staircases so like if you want to go to that side you'd go up that staircase if you want to get here you'd go up this staircase yeah so that's the only way to get to these rooms there was originally a door but it messed up my plans for that so I didn't want to do that so we have this little area um it comes up right here um, another staircase. There are very few bathrooms, which makes me nervous. I didn't know where to put them. You know, it, it they fit really nicely here. They didn't fit so well in other places. So there's like... Those might actually be the only bathrooms. Oh god. that I'll have to add more somewhere. I don't know where though. So I decided to make this a storage room. It's almost like, you know, how you store all your things in the attic. Things from memories, you know, pictures, um, prom crowns, prom pictures, family pictures, all, all of that stuff. Um, trophies, yeah. All of that kind of stuff. You put it in your attic. Well, our attic is technically in a way being, what is that? Oh my god, the boat pokes through. Sorry. Um, that's technically what this is supposed to be. It's just our attic is in use by a uh, random bed. Um, so I had this extra room and I thought, why not? So that's what this is. We also have some things to store some nectar. Alright. Alrighty, alrighty. So we go down the final floor. So this is like... This is going to be the main door, basically. When they're going to come home, this is where they're going to go. So we have some strollers, because those are definitely going to be needed. Here's the technically official living room. I made sure to get a huge, huge, huge couch with a lot of space, since we're going to have a huge, huge family. Um, This little accent table. 
two desks with no computers so they can do like homework there um a nice tv and a game console and what's actually really cool is there's like stained glass windows all around this house well all around the place which i love i think it makes it look so much nicer here is the gym and kind of arcade so we have you know stuff for gym we have treadmills um pump machine things ballet bars we have a foosball table pool ping pong and there's actually two bathrooms in the corner um yet again this might be like the yeah so the only bathrooms in the entire lot are those two and those three so we better just hope and pray so then the main floor of the dorm is this which almost looks like a little office kind of thing but i liked it i thought it looked nice so i just wanted to keep it so there's that like i said two different staircases so if you want to go oops if you want to go to the bathroom storage and or teenage girl bedroom you would take the right staircase and to get to the boys you would take the left here's the nursery plain and simple we shouldn't be in here a lot well we're gonna be in here a lot i mean we shouldn't be in here long or off too too often the main room i think we would be in is this one which is the toddler playroom it's got everything a toddler should need we've got walkers diaper changing station a little rocking thing we have a peg board a xylophone potty chairs um we got uh high chairs toy box playpen little blocky thing so yeah this is probably going to be the room everyone is in the most at least in the beginning it's probably going to be the only room we're in besides the bedroom if you know what i'm saying wowza what the fuck i'm sorry <laughs> and then the final room on this entire lot is Mar marcia marcia's bedroom i'm probably gonna pronounce it like that the entire time like i said it's almost like it's just off to the side which i kind of liked i was deciding whether to make her bedroom this room or the attic on the top floor i just kind of wanted her not away from the kids but it's like you're gonna have to be having a lot of babies so uh, let's not have you like in the middle you know if like people are walking in and out of your room that's that can't happen and i liked the fact that this was more secluded it's like she's still here she's still connected she still takes care of her kids and she's right by the nursery as well um it's just she's got her space because when you're trying to get like when she has probably like 20 kids like she's gonna need some damn spice so this is her bedroom i forgot to edit that rug i will so we have a massage table because everybody loves massages we got her bed some some stuff <laughs> little seating area and yeah also the i showed you the outdoors i just here's a closer look at the courtyard bricks woo wonderful i know my gosh also i will show you where we are located our house is right here which is actually like on the edge but we're close to fishing we're close to the equestrian center maybe you'll have us take up riding and get rid of cars who knows you come down here here's film where's town hall i don't know my way around here there's town hall so this is probably where i wanted to be but oh that's really pretty so yeah i'm like super super excited for this guys also, the bar sets Underworld. 
it's cool. But yeah, because I'm extremely excited. So, so excited. I cannot wait to get started making some babies. Also, I guess while we're here, let me introduce you to our main woman in charge. Oh my gosh. This, it's Marcia. How do you pronounce her last name? Fonseca. Fon Fonseca. Fonseca. I'm going to say Fonseca. She sounds like Hispanic, but German at the same time. Yeah, I'm Marcia. Fonseca. Fonseca. Maybe, th maybe those are her two nationalities. But yeah, I think I was aiming more for kind of like Hispanic. I mean, she's got a stank face on right now. But she is gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous. She's got nice, long, dark brown hair. And just, uh, her face is so pretty. <laughs> she's got, like, this cute little dress on. And cute little shoes. She is, let's see, let's look at her traits. So, her favorite music is classical, apparently. Her favorite food is porcini risotto. Her favorite color is blue. She is a gatherer. Neat. Apparently, she's a vegetarian. Green thumb and kleptomaniac. So, I will have to pick out a spot for our garden. Maybe, like, right here. We can have a garden, grow our own food, gather, so getting stuff would be easier and earn us more money. Same with kleptomaniac. And neat, so she'll always want to clean up the house, which is great. So, in the next part, which will technically be the first part, I will go over the rules and start getting this this mama going um also her lifetime wish is surrounded by family because that should be really easy with what our task is so i'm really excited to start this brand new adventure with you guys and i hope you guys are excited at least as excited as i am and i hope you guys enjoyed this house tour i'm sorry if it was kind of long it's a freaking big house it probably should be long like a house to have a hundred babies in is not a normal house and this is not a normal house and what goes on here is not normal we are out of out of the question strange freaky weirdos and we embrace it so there will be a lot of fonses fon fonses fonze fonzeca fonzecas roaming the town i'm probably never gonna pronounce her last name ever again because i just i can't say it it just looks really cool but marcia marcia she has no job but what i'm actually going to do i guess i might as well do this now um is have her i i have a um custom mod oh, sorry custom job which I think is really good for her. It's a way for us to earn money but still not go to work. It's called a homemaker. Basically, you get paid to stay at home. You cook, you clean, and you um, take care of kids. Your kids. So, I figured, you know, that way we can earn some extra money. Because we only have 16,000 simoleons. And there's tons of things around the house to to start using to make some money so but yeah guys i'm super excited to get this started and i will see you guys in the next part which is technically the first part